Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, one, you can obviously see my face. So I have had to make this video three times for multiple different technical reasons. And at this point, I'm tired and I don't feel like going through everything that I've already been through to try to do it the way that I normally would. So, two, I am not completely in frame. And I understand this, but it's because I have to set things out a certain way so that I can um, have the space to show you everything. So, so part of me just isn't going to show <laughs> up and that's okay with me because normally I wouldn't be in the video at all. But, It is about the time that my husband normally gets off of work at this point, and I am, I'm done with this video, making, editing, failing, deleting, nonsense. So let's go ahead and get started again. So as you guys know, I was waiting on a package from Sassy Wax Melts. Um, the owner's name is Cheryl, the same as me. We even spell it the same way, so that's pretty cool. And um, I ordered quite a few things from her. <laughs> that's love. I ordered quite a few things from her because her prices are really good. And if you order over $50 worth from her, um, you don't have to pay for shipping. In addition to that, I had a 20% off code from Danny Divinations, who I follow. That's my husband calling. Um, whom I follow on Instagram. So, all together, hold on. Where were we? I had a 20% off discount code. So all together, um, it was really very affordable. So I got, I got, I mean, a, a decent amount considering I never ordered from her before and I didn't really know what to expect. So first of all, first of all, she sent, uh, my package was beautifully wrapped in this pretty, pretty, pretty wrapping paper with the label on the outside. So that was cute. And then whenever I opened it up, I had this pretty card in there with a handwritten note inside and her business card. Um, she sent me a large bag of chocolates. This was full, okay? But I had one, the kids had some already. So there's three pieces <laughs> left in there, but it was, it was, it was filled. Um, and then she sent me the most exorbitant amount of samples I've ever seen. Ever. So that's cool too. So we're going to go through the samples first and I'm going to go ahead and tell you that even on her samples she includes um, all of the scent notes and the pour date. Which is really nice because a lot of times I don't even get that on, well never. Never have I ever gotten all of that information on anything um, let alone samples. So. This one is called Lullaby of Dreams and it's herbal lavender blueberries and sugar milk. To me, I don't really smell any lavender, but it smells like blueberries and cotton candy. And they are the cutest little unicorns. So cool. We're going to try to like speed things along because... I'm, 
I'm late in the day. Late, late in the day at this point. And I look a hot mess too. My hair is like, like what is it even doing? But I've been running and everything else, so forgive me. Um, this one is strawberry pound cake frosted sugar cookie and birthday cake. I don't really smell any strawberry, but it smells like a really good cake. Just cake. And they are shaped like Hello Kitty. There you are. The next one's called Falls Coming, and it's pumpkin pecan waffles, caramelized pralines, frosted sugar cookie, and funnel cake. And it smells like all of that. It's a very pumpkin pecan, cinnamon, caramel, praline, funnel cake, like all, all of that. It smells like fall is coming. <laughs> it smells so good. And uh, this is something that I do absolutely have every intention of purchasing um, a lot of for the fall. I really love this one. This is, I mean, it's the perfect fragrance for fall. So I love it. I'm sure I'm going to melt lots of it. Um, this one's cherry, vanilla, lavender, marshmallow, and fresh baked bread. I'm not going to lie. The first time I smelled this, I had said in that video that I didn't smell any lavender at all. It smelled like cherry Coke to me, but already, like these things are still curing. They're still developing. And already, I'm starting to smell some of that lavender. Again, to me, this smelled like cherry Coke. Now it smells like cherry Coke with a hint of lavender in the background. Nothing about this smells medicinal or anything, though. It doesn't smell like cough syrup, um, which is what I would expect it to with that, with those scent notes. But it smells really good. And it's these cute little cherries. Um, cherries aren't really my thing. It's not that I, I mean, I love them. Um, they smell good, but it's not like my favorite thing. Like I don't seek them out. So it's probably not something that, ooh, that I would have like ordered, but it still smells good. This one is warm and fuzzy feelings, maple pancakes, maple glazed bacon, brown sugar, and cinnamon. And there's no way for me to describe what this smells like to you and you understand what I'm talking about. But my great grandparents used to live in an old house that they built by hand out of cinder blocks. And it had um, a wood stove in the living room. And I can still remember going over there as a child um, for like Sunday dinners. And I was real, real young. And my great-grandmother was an amazing cook. And in the colder months, they would have some wood in the wood stove. And this smells to me what their house, exactly like what their house smelled like whenever we would come over. And it's like the perfect pairing of like food cooking and like the wood burning and the wood burning stove. And even some other like like maybe like her potpourri or something like in the background. It just smells um, like memories to me. And I don't really know how to describe that to you, but I like it. Um, it's very heartwarming. Good memories to recall. This one's called Sugar Mama and it is cupcakes at Tiffany's Strawberries Cream Cheese Frosting Whipped Cream. And this is basically my favorite smell in the entire world. I got um, another wax from another vendor that smells exactly like this and I'm in love with it and I didn't want to cut it because then it would be gone and from that vendor I can't really order just like anything at any time. You have to wait. And so I was kind of frustrated by that and I didn't really know where I could go to get what, what I wanted um, without having to wait till God knows when. 
so I'm so happy to smell this sample and it smells exactly, exactly the same spot on. Um, so now I know that it's okay to go ahead and melt that because I can just order um, like a large, a large amount of this from Sassy Wax Melts and I will. This smells like fresh strawberry frosted pound cake. That's what it smells like and it's dreamy. Absolutely wonderful. Love it, love it, love it. This next sample is North Pole Crisp Green North Pole Crisp Greens Mac Apple Caramel Brown Sugar Frosted Sugar Cookie and Zucchini Bread. And this one is so hard again to describe, but I'll do my best. It smells to me like a green apple. Mm, it smells to me like a green apple, um, a, a light bit of caramel, the sweetness from a sugar cookie, a little bit of like a buttery mint, in a Christmas tree all together. So you would think that this with apples and peppermint and caramel and brown sugar and sugar cookie would smell like a Christmas scent, but it does not. Um, in fact, the, the, the Christmas tree greens with that tart green apple really makes it smell very, very much like spring. This is one that would be absolutely perfect to transition from winter to spring and also use in the late fall, early Christmas season. So I like it. It's very versatile. Oh, I didn't even show you. And, um, and it smells like a high-end fragrance. This is not something that you could pick up in like retail wax. This is very complex and beautiful. Um, and I cannot wait to have more of this also. I, I really, really want this. Um, it's a little late now because it's not really quite right for spring going into summer, but I really, really want uh, to have plenty of this on hand before Christmas rolls around. The next one is Blissful Green Apples, Red Berries, and Crackling Birch. My children. Uh, again. Hmm. This one okay so this one because of the sugar cookie and the zucchini bread the one that I was just telling you about has a little bit more of like bakery notes in it than this one does but they have some similar other things going on so this one also has green apple and it has the crackling birch and the red berries. So this one comes off to me very much like a tart green apple, some cranberries, and again, a Christmas tree. And again, this one would be absolutely perfect to go ahead and melt um, in the spring or winter. This is beautiful. This smells so clean. This one is a little bit more on the clean side, though, of things, whereas that one's a little bit more on the bakery side. So that's the difference, really. So they're similar, but not the same. And I love this one. If I, um, if I had to choose one or the other for springtime specifically, I would go this way. And if I had to choose one for the winter, I would probably go with the bakery. 
but you don't have to choose with wax. Okay, this one is Grateful Bread. It's fresh baked bread, iced lemon cookies, buttercream, whipped cream. And it just really smells like a frosted lemon cookie. And it smells so good. Mmm, really good. I love lemon bakery. I love bakery in general, but I really love lemon bakery and strawberry bakery. So this is really, really good. I'm picky about it too, but this really smells authentic. I love it. So the next ones, we'll go ahead and do the clamshells that I ordered. Um, so the first one is in John Lemon, and it's lemon curd, candy floss, and whipped cream. And the package looks like this. Just got quality clamshells. They're kind of hard to open. They're a little rigid. Okay. And it smells like lemon curd and cotton candy. I love both of those things, and I think that the combination is absolutely brilliant. And look how cute that is. So pretty with that lemon embed. So cute. I love this. Um, this is going to be like a regular purchase for me for the summertime. I love it, love it, love it. All right, the next one is Fruit Blast, and it's blue raspberry, strawberries, peaches, pink sugar, and French vanilla. And again, she's got the pour dates and all the scent notes right on the label. Mm, this smells like vanilla, like a vanilla custard almost, and then berries. And you can just, you can smell in it that there's more than one type of berry. Um, yeah, blue raspberry, strawberries. I don't smell peaches in here, but sometimes peaches um, just lend a little bit more of like a soury kind of note. And sometimes peaches can, um, can do the opposite and really sweeten things. So... Just depending on like what kind of peach scent it is. This is very pretty. Um, this was just poured on 320. So it's only been poured for about, what, nine days. Um, so this is really fresh and it already smells really good. I'm starting to really be able to pick out everything in it. Um, so I can only imagine how much better this is going to smell after it's had some time to sit. The next one is Hairy Navel and it's Fresh Oranges and Perfect Peaches. And it smells exactly like oranges and peaches. Fresh ones, not candied. Exactly what it would smell like if you just sliced into a peach and orange. It's very, very pretty. Very citrusy fresh and oh so cute I love the way that she does her clams the next one is called ace of spades and it's black raspberry vanilla lemon curd pears caramel cotton candy and French vanilla we can open it Mm, I smell blue raspberry. It says black raspberry, but I smell blue raspberry, lemon, and cotton candy. Mm, those are my true takeaways from it, and they um they smell absolutely wonderful together. It's very strong. All of them are quite strong which, you know, has me really um, 
anticipating that the throw should be should be pretty good um, on these. We'll see. Only time will tell. So this one's called Going Coconuts, and it's coconut, cocoa milk, French vanilla, pie crust, and pink sugar. And this smells to me like fresh coconuts, fresh coconut milk, and fresh coconut water. There's no candied element to it at all. Nothing artificial or sweetened. Just like true, um, truly what coconut flesh, coconut milk, and coconut water naturally smell like and it's very very pretty um, I find that natural smelling coconut can um, can sometimes be really subtle but this is not and I do think though even with that being said that this would be really good for mixing with anything that you just want to add like a pop of coconut to if you had something that you did like pineapples and coconuts it was supposed to smell more like pina coladas but the pineapple sort of took over I feel like this would really um really be good for things like that as well so this one's called For Goodness Cakes, and it's pistachio pudding cake, vanilla cake pops, sugar milk, tea and cakes, lemon pound cake. That looks like this. Okay. Mmm. You get that really almondy pistachio pudding smell right away. I get a little bit of cake, a bit of lemon. That's really about it with this one. But it's really nice to me. And I really wanted to try something with pistachio pudding in it because I've never had anything like that before in wax. So I'm really happy to have it. I, um, I'm really eager to see what pistachio pudding smells like when, when it's warmed because I don't know. I have no experience. So I'm really excited to uh, let this one go ahead and cure up so that I can toss it in the warmer and see how I like um, pistachio pudding wax on warm. The next thing that I ordered was in her medium donuts and it was be thankful and it is pumpkin pecan waffles, frosted sugar cookie, Vermont honey apple and funnel cake. I picked this up because it sounded like a really good fall scent and um, since I'm new to vendor wax and I'm coming in in the spring, I really want to know um, like who I want to go to for what whenever the fall turn like comes around. So I really wanted to try some fall things so that I kind of knew like what are my favorites out there so that I can pick them up um, for fall. This smells so good. It smells exactly like what it says. It smells like pumpkin pecan waffles, frosted sugar cookies, and I smell the apple. The apple, it's like it's one of those apple scents. that's really down in there that is going to come out on warm and be just beautiful. I can smell it, but it's not overpowering on cold, but I have enough experience with wax at this point of like getting wax and smelling it, seeing what it smells like and then what it smells like on warm, like how it transforms to know that this apple is really going to pop um, whenever I get it warmed up. And then the funnel cake. It, this is just beautiful. Um, in the like funnel cake part, like you can even smell like powdered sugar. Isn't that crazy how that how that works? That you can capture that in like a fragrance oil. Um, I love these so much. 
and they scream fall. But I will go ahead and, uh, and test these out before the fall. I can assure you. The next thing that I ordered is called Bella, and it's chocolate caramel, caramelized pralines, vanilla hazelnut, and ice cream. So they look like this, like little candies. And this one's interesting to me. Um, I knew that I didn't probably really like chocolate wax, um, but I went ahead and got something with it in there anyway because I just wanted to see for myself. On cold, what this really um, smells like to me is if you've ever had a tub of real cocoa butter and shea butter, this is exactly what that smells like. I don't really get the pralines um, or any ice cream or anything like that. I'm just really getting cocoa butter um, from this. It's like a creamy, decadent, chocolatey note. A really buttery um, note, though. So, I... Um, it's not my favorite. I mean, it smells really good. But it's not my favorite. Um, and... I'm interested to see how, again, how this smells when it's warmed up and how my mind might change. Um, there are some that shock me. There were some in my L3 order that I did for you guys, the mystery chunks, that I was like, mm. you know, I didn't say much about them. And then um, one in particular I've, I've warmed, and it's like in my top, like, five favorite wax of all time. So you just... <laughs> Can't, you can't knock it until you warm it. Are we going to make that a new thing? That's going to be a new saying now. Don't knock it till you warm it. Okay, so I ordered tea time in these mini donuts. And it is tea and cakes, iced lemon cookies, and lemon pound cake. And boy, this is a good one. It smells like a fresh baked pound cake with simple syrup and homemade lemon frosting. It is absolutely divine. Super duper real, authentic, realistic. This is my new favorite lemon bakery scent. Um, the next scent that I ordered is called Fit to, Mel Fit to Melt. And it is watermelon and birthday cake so this sounded really good to me i like watermelons and i love birthday cake and i thought that the combination just seemed interesting and it smells like birthday cake not the buttercream frosting though it just smells like the the like white birthday cake part with a watermelon frosting and it's good. And um, I got this one in little ice cream shapes. So I got it in popsicles. And she did little ice cream cones. And I think that they're just adorable. Adorable. And this, um, this is probably got to go on at least like my top. 15 list of summer wax. Um, the next thing that I ordered is a mermaid cocktail and it is banana, coconut, strawberry, raspberry, guava, sea salt, and cocoa bean. Mm. Right away I smell the guava. The banana, it smells like banana Laffy Taffy. Mm. And then coconut. So I get the banana Laffy Taffy, coconut, and guava. Um, I also get that sea salt. And, 
and I mean, and it just smells good. It smells so tropical and delicious. And she did it in Little Mermaid shapes for me. So I got um, seahorses, mermaid tails, and then there are different colored mermaid tails, um, different little seahorses, and there is somewhere floating around in there, some little starfish and some mermaid faces. So we're not gonna dig them all out, but they're real cute. And I, um, I really enjoy that one. And the next one, um, the last one, is that, did I do it? I, I did it all, I did it all. Okay, so the last one is Sweet Cheeks, and it is Cupcakes at Tiffany's Vanilla Sugar Waffle Cone and Cake Batter. And this is a good one. This is so good. This smells like birthday cake with buttercream frosting. Hands down, it doesn't smell like anything else in the whole wide world. It smells like birthday cake with buttercream frosting. Nothing else smells like that. No other cake in the world smells like a birthday cake. There is something about a birthday cake with buttercream frosting that's just, that's just heaven. I mean, you know, we grew up having all these birthday cakes and everything and then you smell that and it's just such nostalgia. It just instantly brings back childhood happiness. It smells like birthday cake. You know, when we were kids, it didn't matter if it was your birthday or somebody else's birthday. Like, you just wanted to be at a birthday party. Like, as long as you were there, you were good. It didn't have to be about you. Birthday cake and ice cream. And maybe some roller skates, right? <laughs> but this is really cute, too. I love the little shapes. I loved that um, I could order whatever scent that I wanted to in whatever shape that I wanted to in whatever quantity I wanted to, at whatever time I wanted to, from whatever device I wanted to, from any place in the world. It was very liberating. Um, no rules, no hurdles, nobody to fight over a specific scent, no hunger games, just, just me in the middle of the night, lounging in my bed, ordering online, mixing it up. So, I really liked that. Um, again, I really liked her pricing. I really liked the discount code. I really liked no shipping over $50. I really love, 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 cannot say enough times how much I love the fact that the pour dates are on there and all of the scent notes. So there's no guesswork. There's no searching, no drama, and no guesswork on when things are ready to melt. Um, I cannot say enough good things about Cheryl and Sassy Wax Melts. I'm very, very happy with my order, and I will be a regular customer of hers for probably a very, very, very long time. Anyway, I'm sorry that it took so long to get you guys this video, but I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you have any questions or want to reach out to me for any reason at all, please leave me a comment down below, and I, um, I read them all, and get back to them all. I don't have that many subscribers y'all. So it's really easy to get in touch with me. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Happy Monday. Bye.